Konnichiwa, this is the Shogun Steen, and this is an unboxing of the two-player game Skull Hollow from Pencil First Games, and Pencil First Games is run by Edo Baraf, who has a very good uh, YouTube channel on board gaming and board gaming reviews. It's a great channel, you should check it out, and this is his company's newest game, Skull Hollow. It was a Kickstarter that I almost backed. I saw the uh, excellent playthrough video from Ant Lab Games, one of my favorite channels on the YouTubes, and I, I liked the way it looked. I like two-player games. Me and Little Shogunstein usually play two-player games, but I've just been scaling back on the, the Kickstarters, and this was something that I really came close to backing, but in the end, um, as I scale back on a lot of the Kickstarters, ended up not... Uh, pledging for and I got a few kickstarters left but I've been really trying to wean myself off kickstarter I got one kickstarter that didn't fulfill I had another kickstarter that was delayed and then it ended up uh, you could have bought the game in, in retail I got uh, another kickstarter that was very expensive I played it once and didn't like it so I've been scaling back on the kickstarter and I regretted not getting skull Kyle, especially after I saw some of the excellent reviews for it when it came out and I had a price tracker set on it for Amazon and it was showing you know 50 bucks 50 bucks 50 bucks and I just kept the the tracker on there and then you know one day you know uh, it was down to like $19 for just a couple of minutes and I and I scooped up this this copy and then the price went back right up to like 40 bucks so I don't know why it was only $19 for that brief moment I don't know if it was an error or it was just a, a glitch, or if it actually um, someone actually had it that cheap. But I did grab this copy, and I'm very excited. So uh, let's take a look at what's in the box. You have a very well produced uh, rule book with the backstory. Got to have backstory. Got to do it. Got to do it. And you got to have backstory. So uh, it tells you a little bit about uh, the two sides. You got your uh, guardians, and then you got the small folk. And then uh, they're showing you the components and how to set up the, the game. Quality of this rule book is uh, is very good. The print and the page quality. This is one of the better produced rule books that I've seen. I'll have to read through it and see how the actual writing is, but certainly in terms of production of the rule book, here's some some key terms. It is is excellent. They tell me about the different characters, and then here's some information about. Um, Pencil First Games, and there's Edo, and there's some of the other games that they uh, put out. And there's Skull Kahlo. There you go. There's some of the other things that they, they have. And let's see what else we got. We got uh, a map. Oh, excuse me, it's not a map. I guess this is... Um, yeah, it is a map, but it looks like... Um, some background on the game. Interesting. Here is the player board. And the player board has two sides. This is like the advanced player board. And then this side with the, uh, with the dots showing you the different sections is like the beginner board, which is supposed to help you with uh, the, the movements. So you got a two-sided board. And again, the art is really, really nice on this Skull Hollow. This is the beginner board. This is the more advanced board. Just really, really awesome art. And then you got these giant uh, guardians that you're going to be fighting and you're going to see and be working your way up. And you have different uh, characters that you're going to play as and different abilities, different win conditions. This, wow, really cool. Let me see the different, uh, so Flap and Shrek and Claw. Wow, really, really cool illustrations here. This is the one I think they say you're supposed to uh, play with in the beginner game. It's got Swing and tro, Stomp. Stomp, is he going to like uh, play the drums on everything? This looks like the last guardian. 
Whoa, really cool. Pull, shock, crush, tunnel. Tunnel. Wow. And then you have like your abilities. Pada. So each one of these characters is going to be unique. You got a Pada. Raptra. Thanos. Thermos. Thanos. Does he have like a, a ring and go snap? Tantos. Really cool. Grack. Look at that. I think I make that face sometimes when I'm teaching. And we got the, the heroes. The fox and heroes. Again, telling you the different abilities that they have. And then each of the uh, different characters has their own deck of cards that you're going to use. So again, here we have our guardians. And then here is our fox and heroes. And you got this really nice insert. And we got uh, looks like health tokens or damage tokens. Some sort of energy cubes. I'm thinking of like King of Tokyo, like energy cubes. Just the production on this game is is out of this world. And this is one of the reasons why I regretted not backing it on the the KS. You know, with the uh, this awesome art. But then again, to pick it up for nineteen dollars, I definitely lucked out. I was pretty close to picking it up for fifty dollars on the the retail. So see each. your own kind of cards. He's the, the king of war. Look at this. Oh, so these are the foxins. The small folk who are taking on the guardians. So, well produced, beautiful game. Two player game, which is right in our wheelhouse for me and little Shogunstein. But I'm going to have to go back and watch Ant Lab Games and look at the playthroughs. And then we'll let you know how it is. The reviews for it were really, really good. I saw Tom Vassell gave it, uh, I think, a seal of excellence. And Ant Lab Games did a nice playthrough. And I saw some other reviews online. Looks really good. We like the two-player games. Of course, Seven Wonders Duel is the, the premier two-player game, in my opinion. Watergate right now is giving them a, a big run for the money. But this art, there's, there's potential here of this being the, the new two-player uh, go-to game, but we're going to have to check it out. We're going to have to let you know how it plays, and then we'll get back to you. In the meantime, this has been an unboxing of Skulk Hollow. Well-produced, beautifully illustrated game with a really uh, well-produced uh, instruction book. Now it'll be uh, getting to the table, get a, tr uh, a few plays in, and we'll let you know our thoughts. In the meantime, Skulk Hollow... Pencil First Games, this has been an unboxing. Shogunstein out.